Okay, I'm just going to jump straight into it. Um, this is called the ITX Box Project, or Project ITX Box, either way around. I haven't really decided yet. Um, but the videos I've made about this in the past, like the announcement and then the updates, they're crap videos. There's no energy in them, there's no... There's there's not enough information to warrant a video. It's, it's like tiny... Basically, like half the update videos are saying the exact same thing every time. So... I'm just going to do it again and tell you what it is, what I'm doing, what I have to do, and then what's going to happen after this build is finished. So, let's get started. So, what is this project? Well, I have taken out everything that makes this an Xbox 360S, or 360 Slim, as some people call it. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. But everything that makes this an Xbox is now gone, apart from the logo. I have no idea if you can see that. So there it is. So this is no longer an Xbox, it is now mostly a gaming PC. Um, the processor is an i3-4170, possibly upgrading to an i5-4690 if I upgrade my system and take the 4690 out of that and put it in here. Um, it's going to have 16 gigs of RAM, low profile RAM because standard size RAM is in the way of the graphics card. The graphics card is my old GTX 960 from Asus. Um, that is actually mounted uh, on a custom bracket, which I will show you. There it is. Um, I've actually had to modify the graphics card by taking off the uh, DVI connector. I desoldered that. Also, I desoldered the audio connectors off the motherboard because they were in the way of the graphics card. So here is the custom um, aluminium bracket that I've made to support the graphics card and mount it down and the whole thing is being mounted with a 3M dual lock which is very very strong so that everything is being mounted down with that um, there is a problem though uh, and I'll come back to that in a second but the top panel you may notice you, you know a minute ago when the graphics card was there uh, the top panel won't actually fit on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this middle, middle section of the uh, top panel replace that with this aluminium mesh filter type thing and then in this I'm going to cut a hole that is slightly bigger than the, the graphics card cooler and then the graphics card is actually going to stick up through this by about uh, duh, 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 duh. Uh, I don't know how much because I haven't done it yet but it's going to be roughly five millimeters maybe ten not entirely sure yet so that's happening there and that's where the problem is because right now with this bracket uh, being the size that it is uh, and the graphics card being mounted where it is um, the graphics card is actually going to stick up too much um, it's through the top panel it's sticking up too much and I want it to be mounted lower so what I need to do is get low profile RAM which should be here in the next day or two depending on when you upload this uh, not when you upload this, when I upload this, and then when you watch it. That's the right, right way around, I think. Um, so a low profile RAM, so I can mount the graphics card lower, um, which also means making a new bracket which is lower and uh, getting that done. So the SSD is actually going to be going to be mounted on the flat side here. And when I actually make a new bracket, I might be doing two of them as well, so I can have um, extra support for the graphics card and uh, you know more mounting space uh, for the SSD as well so that should be quite nice side panels now this right hand side panel I've taken out the little extra support material that it normally has but you know because I don't need it and the problem is these things here because this is normally to access the hard drive if this was still an Xbox which it isn't so uh, these are all these plastic bits here they are going to be glued into this silver frame Okay, so that's just going to be glued together, and then this whole section here is going to be, hang on, which way is the right way around? That way. That's going to be glued permanently to the bottom panel along the edge. Um, when it comes to actually uh, mounting the graphics card lower, um, at the moment it sits about there, um, and I can't actually mount it lower without moving it that way a bit. And so when I do that, the connector is going to be closer to the side panel okay and if I have this black material here in the side panel the 
graphics card riser extension is actually hitting it. So I have to get rid of this and replace it with hang on, this, which is the other bigger mesh thing uh, that I bought when I bought that one. So, because I, you know, I didn't know what mesh I wanted to use when I modified the top panel, so I got two sizes. Um, that smaller size is for the top panel. Part of this is actually going to be going inside that, uh, and because this is two millimeters thick, and this stuff is about three, okay, uh, this is obviously thinner, which will mean the graphics card can go further that way, which mean I can mount it lower, which will mean everything fits. I hope that makes sense, but I think it does. <laughs> so yeah, that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. Uh, the power supply is a HD Plex 400 watt model thing, which uses a 300 watt external power brick to power that, and then the power supply powers the system. Also the front panel is fully functioning because I have a power button. Hang on, I've got to lean over the table for this. Give me a sec. There we go, power button. And then I have two front USB ports. I have no idea if you can see them. E kind of, I've got to get the angle right. Well, whatever, there's two in there, that works. I have a hard drive activity LED there, which works. And then this button here, uh, there we are, that little button, hear that click. That button used to be the controller syncing connection button, but now that's a fully functioning uh, reset button. And you can see, oh lord, all that stuff in here. So this USB hub thing there, that's the connectors. I actually used the casing off a USB hub and I glued in the uh, actual USB connectors there. The reset button is glued on top of that. And I have no idea if you can see it, but those are the connections for uh, the power button as well. So, ow, my back. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, God. That was a mistake. And also, if I do this, you will see, I mean, you can probably see it already, but the way I actually access the system is with some hinges, which are, to be honest, they are brilliant. So once the build is actually finished, um, I want to have a video where I detail all of the modifications that I've done and how I modified it, what tool I used, things like that. Um, and then in the description of that video, um, I'll list um, all of the stuff I've used, all the components, where to buy them, all that stuff. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>